Hey guys, this is JMC here, and I'm going to talk about chapter 352, the prediction for that chapter of Berserk. Now, this is 100% speculation, so take it a pet of salt. And I'm I'm just going out what I think by just reading all the chapters and seeing exactly what's going to happen. So anyway, at the very end, to get that memory, so, uh, memory fragment. Now, a lot of people think it's Griffith. I say no, and here's my reasons why, man. Because what is Griffith going to really tell her in her mind? I think who's actually in there, it's actually Casca. And I'm going to get to that in a bit. But anyway, you know, since this is the last shard, a boss fight's going to happen. Now, since Farnese doesn't really have, not for, excuse me, since Surike doesn't really have anything stronger in her dream about that. There is, there was one scene, and Kintor Amora does not always just put something in there just for us, just to have it in there. In Farnese's dream, there was also the helmet of the Berserker armor and the Dragon Slayer. Kind of wonder if the dog gonna have any, the dog is gonna have something to do with it, but I can guarantee you we're gonna see the helmet of the Berserker armor and the Dragon Slayer in this chapter, and it's gonna fight. Now let's keep going with this as well. I think as soon as it fights them, Varnese and Surike with the um with the grave, or, well not the grave, with the coffin, excuse me, and get up to the get up to where they have to be at. And also again with the spear, Casca didn't see Griffith turn to Phantom. It was guts. So I don't I don't know how people got that confused. But anyway, if you look, I'm gonna show you guys something right here. If you look at the doll. You notice that the head is not completed and the heart and the heart is not filled. So Mini Casca is going to be the source of her being complete. I think in my in my opinion, since all the memory shards is being sealed up in Casca's mind, Casca is the mind of the of the doll, while Mini Casca is the heart of the doll. So if you put those two the deck together, the doll is complete. This is just me just speculating right there. Somehow, I think they're going to try to convince Casca to come out, and then she's going to try to say no and stuff like that. Mini Casca is going to probably somehow be the source of that and try to talk to, and try to talk to Casca. And somehow, she's going to show memories of Guts and how he still keep going, how he's going to be protecting her, even though what happened, even though that incident was um what he was trying to do. She did forget him about the yellow one. She'll probably forget him about this one, but. This is my speculation. I, I speculate that the heart and the mind are going to have to be fused together. Like the one that's in there, that's in that spear of thorns, is Casca, is her mind. And the little mini Casca is the heart. Well, what do you think about how this uh, this whole little mini arc started? When Surike and Farnes look really closer, look where she's standing at. Almost at the center of the heart. And that that could be that could be it. That mini Casca is the heart and... Casca and Casca in the memory premise is the brain. So you put those two together, you got fuck so body. I mean, without the brain, well, without the brain or heart, man, I mean, you're basically dead. But that's my that's my prediction. Let me know what you guys think. Okay, later.